All right, back for some more Danganronpa. Check out Happy Havoc with myself, your host, Nobi. And uh, in the last episode, we started investigating uh, Makoto's room. And we checked a couple of things over here. Now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about this. About, uh, <clears throat> about the sword once again. Like I said, that maybe Sayaka used the, uh, the sword as self-defense. I'm thinking that, uh, that the remains... Like, the gold that came out of the tip of the sword and such must have come from um, from the knife that uh, Sayaka was killed with. It could be that. Actually, that might actually be it. I don't know. Let's see. What else do we have over here? The toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? 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 We ain't exactly in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then. What? No. What? Not just me. Nobody's busted their eye theirs out yet, far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Cause like, why the hell would we? Okay... So the toolkit has been added to the truth bullets. Mondo claims that... Claims... Mondo claims that nobody used the toolkit. Unless he lies about this. But I guess that is evidence. Alright, what else do we have up here? We have the scratches on the wall. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence for struggle? Oh, of course it is. It's like, it looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it! I was right there in the other room. If only I heard something. Well, sadly, Murakuma made uh, made your room like soundproof. Like every dormitory is soundproof for the perfect murder. That would not have been possible. Huh? huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you could know. Well. Perhaps this is... Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Indeed. Evidence of a struggle. Alright, well... Does it also add the fact that... Uh, that... Uh, that my room is soundproof? And uh, not really, but I guess it's pretty, it's pretty logical and all. But uh, I think we actually checked everything. Uh, what about the scratches over here? I mean, I can understand the scratches on the wall, but what about the floor? There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that? Well, yes, there is. It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Our rooms are completely soundproof, remember? Okay, well, I think that's pretty... I guess this is pretty much uh, the same as before. But what about this? Yep, the sword has been taken out of the stand over there. It's the display stand the sword was on. Alright, what about else? Oh, the trash can! The, the, no, I guess not. Okay. I was thinking that maybe... Uh, surveillance camera! You are suspicious! You must be the murderer! Surveillance camera! Me?! D d d decoy The mastermind must be using them to keep an eye on everything that's happening here. They don't do anything to stop what's happening. They just keep on watching. Okay, what about the notepad? The notepad is still here, but I don't think it's really relevant right now. Is it now? Maybe uh, maybe <laughs> maybe they have that old trick where you can uh, use the tip of the pen or something like that and just uh, use it on the paper to see uh, what was written on it. Well, what was written on the paper that was ripped out of the notepad. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Well, actually, maybe, I don't know. But what about the, the bathroom? We have to check the bathroom. <sighs> and on the other side of this, of this door. No. I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down. 
I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her... her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But... but I can't. I cannot hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I, I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. Alrighty then. Time to investigate over here. We have three things over here. We have this. The water for the showers gets turned off at night time. Yeah. I guess that's it. The knife. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... But now is no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. Now I'm thinking about this. The knife. Where did the murderer... Where did he get the knife from? One obvious thing would be the dining hall. I'm thinking that I should uh, probably investigate that after this. But whatever they used to kill her, where did they get it? That stuff is something I should look, look into later. Now I'm telling you, Makoro, it, it could be. Because nobody has a knife. <laughs> I didn't give uh, anyone a knife, that is for sure. Or did I? No, 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 no. I, ga I gave uh, Sayaka the scissors, but apparently that wasn't the murder. The murder, the murder weapon, that's for sure. It is, a, it is the knife. So nobody has the knife in, in their rooms. They have the tool kits and the sewing kit. No knife whatsoever. So it could be from the dining hall. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does, does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. Ah, look at that. The gold coating. It definitely proves that uh, Sayaka used the sword as self-defense. Or did she? I don't know. But either way, it got damaged. She got hit at the wrist. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist. Right there where her wrist is, all swollen. There's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Oh, there's some blood on her left index finger. But that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless. So how come only her left... Wait a second. Both of her hands are totally spotless. I mean, sure she has... I'm uh, thinking about this. It says that her hands are totally spotless. So how come there's like no glitter on her hands? She only has glitter on her wrist. On her broken wrist. What does this mean? Does this mean that... Because there's like no water at night time. There's like no way that the murderer... Uh, has cleaned her hands. So... Did she not use the sword at all? Hmm. Sayaka's wrist has been added to the truth bullets. Well, things are getting even more complicated right now. Also... Hold on a second. Yeah, there you go. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her. So when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? Unless the mother broke her wrist for no reason, that would make like no sense, so yeah, you are definitely right. So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. 
the killer attacks Sayaka in the main room, which she is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Ah, uh, I can't even imagine Sayaka screaming. Uh, it must be painful, really, really painful. Wait, hold on. Hold on a second, what is this? Okay, that's the sharp object over here. There's something written over here. Let me just to see about this. No, I don't care about this. I already, I've already checked this game. I already checked this. Come on, come on. There you go. All right. There's one more thing over here. I looked past Saika to the wall behind her, and there I saw. Written in blood were the numbers, one one zero three seven. Did, did Sayaka do this? Hmm. One one zero three seven. Hmm. That is definitely gonna be important. But for right now, let me see. Let me just um go back and. It looks like you found it, right, Pakoto? The bloody numbers, that's... The bloody numbers. That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. i never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an asp aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. <laughs> so... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way she, we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what that result would be? The, the result? Well. Think about it. I, you're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise the case will end and you will remain un unconvinced. I... I have to do it? Aren't we all involved in this? I have no idea what you're trying to say, but... It's obvious you're not going to tell me. The dying message. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. The ultimate program? Jiro? There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? B broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? G gets stuck? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Yeah, I remember the time when um, I was thinking that uh, that um, Kyoko would be suspicious murderer and all. Or no, no, wait. That I was suspecting Makoto of killing Kyoko. <laughs> because maybe we switched rooms because my bathroom was locked. Thinking that this was a girl room. Uh, such good old times of me, of me being a stupid idiot. Well, not being a stupid idiot. I was just joking around and that. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the door, the bathroom door. I'm sure you see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? Yeah, I can definitely see that. The doorknob is uh, broken. The doorknob. It is broken! What does this mean? What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something too similar to unscrew it. 
So, if it was a screwdriver, then that murderer could have used the toolkit. In that case, Mondo would have lied. Hmm. Well, okay. Not that he would lie. But maybe he doesn't know. Maybe someone used the toolkit. And Mondo is just saying that nobody used it. Nobody used it. Not at all. Whatever it was, it's obvious that it was intentional. W what? If it was intentional, why would someone want to do that? I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? Unless the murderer didn't know how to open the door. Because he thought that this was... Uh, that this was Makoto's room. And that the ba Makoto's bathroom would be... Wouldn't be locked. I guess when I think about it, I only told Sayaka about the broken door, about the broken door frame. Nobody else knows this. Then apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about? I am starting to feel like... I feel something weird about Kyoko. N not that I am suspicious of her, but... I feel so... I don't know. It's like she thinks the way I think as well! Oh, um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night, when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is, only you and Saika knew about it. Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. No way. No way. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Oh. If it proves to be right, I'm definitely going to be the happiest person ever, but I, I'm going to keep it a secret for right now. Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? Well, what clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever... ever... As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Alright, well, we do have uh, the bathroom doorknob evidence. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good, a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. Okay, well, I guess that uh, that pretty much covers up uh, investigating my room. I think. Hopefully, I didn't miss like any evidence. But we did get quite a lot of evidence over here. That is for sure. Um. Hmm. Alrighty then. Let me just think for a second. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing up here? Very so, why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, you got it all wrong. Sayaka and I, I we switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Hmm. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you are still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Uh huh? Hmm. After all... She wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? <laughs> uh... The reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we I suggested we switch rooms. She's dead because of me. No, don't no don't think that way, Makoto. You didn't know. 
then it should have been me that died? Well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. That's... If that's really true, then I... Then I... Then I'm pretty much screwed! Oh no! <clears throat> okay. Just be calm. Detective. Detective. What do you have to say? Leon. What? What the? What is going My mouse is acting. Hello, mouse. 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 You must be the one who murdered Sayaka. I'm gonna keep my eyes on you, mouse. Like literally, I have my my I have my real eyes on the mouse right here. You, you cannot see the mouse right over here moving it. Mostly since it's wireless and all, I'm still... Anyway, uh, Leon. Seems like... Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? The nameplate? What the heck are you talking about? Yeah, this is my room. I mean, we uh, check over here. Huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate pe No! No fucking way! They actually did it! They actually fucking did it! The murderer also switched nameplates! This was my- Huh? This is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. The nameplates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched? So all that effort I put into switching rooms without knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Indeed. Why would the murderer do that? Why? To, f to let everyone think that... To Wait a second. Wait, what? No, I came out of uh, Saka's room, okay. <laughs> Again, I'm being confused about um, about the doors and all. Uh, this is where um, Sayaka got killed, in my room. And uh, somebody switched the nameplate, so yeah, this is my room, even though it says uh, Sayaka's... What? What is the per... Hmm... Mm. 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 Okay. Yamada? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very strange. Mr. Naegi, what was Miss Maizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any, any evidence in the trash room. Do you really, do you really think I'm guilty? Wait a second, trash room? Ah oh, yeah, there you go, uh, Mondo, Mondo did say about the trash room. I should definitely, uh, uh, yeah, I almost forgot about that. I should definitely check um, uh, uh, the trash room as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, you fat parkit. There you go. But. Uh, Okay, let me just, um, let me just uh, check the DVD room first. I think, uh, oh, I guess we could just go anywhere we want. We're still gonna have to check everything first. Unless, uh... Okay, I was uh, thinking about something there. Um, uh, you, what do you have to say? Listen to me. Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate on it to show, to show whose room it is. It is, right? You hear me? Well, it just so happens. Wait. No, 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 no. You might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Forget everything I just said. Forget. 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 Beam. F what? <laughs> Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. Ha 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 ha. Ah, uh, I love you, Taka. Anyway, um, <laughs> okay, let's check the DVD room, see about some stuff. We don't have time for Monokuma machines and Monokuma coins. 
I wanna, I wanna see uh, Saka's DVD. It's a DVD player. You know, Soka. Wait, didn't I, uh, didn't I actually get like a DVD, like a Monokuma coin? I, I, I was here before, right? Yeah, I was. Hmm. I didn't get like any Monokuma coins here. Oh, okay, okay. I guess, uh, I guess I could just uh, check for a little bit of Monokuma coins here. Why not? Who cares about the surveillance camera? Well, I care. The surveillance camera has feelings. There can only be one thing at the trash can. Yup, the DVD with Sayaka's name on it. Sayaka got really upset after seeing whatever was in that in that video. I wonder, what did she see? It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Sayaka. I need to borrow this DVD. It's in the name of science! Well, no, no, really. It's in the name of crime! It's in the name of justice and judgment and all the fun stuff! I need to prove that the mouse is the murderer! I need to prove! Cause I am the true detective. Alright, <laughs> let me just uh, go inside and uh, put this uh, DVD inside. See what was in uh, Sayaka's DVD. I should be able to, see, to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sit down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds. But then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there along with the friends she said had been so important to her. She was possibly... She, posi she was positively glowing there in front of the crowd. So full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was... Dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then... That voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Suddenly, the screen went dark, and then the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. <gasps> but what the? Sayaka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls, who had all simply collapsed. team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? <laughs> 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 